how are y'all doing today? Philip Beagle back here at Air Base, Georgia. And as you probably noticed, the seasons are changing. But what does that mean to everybody? Christmas is cut. Christmas. Christmas is coming. You know what that really means? 12 planes of Christmas. It's here right now. We are live at Air Base, Georgia, 2023, 12 planes of Christmas. And let me tell you what we have going on. Follow me. Okay, so we just want to give you a progress update from 2022. So in 2022, we said we we're going to use your money to do the engine mount, which is now done, getting ready to be shipped back here as we speak, buy the brakes for the airplane, which is done and accomplished. So thank you so much for that. And we are in line right now to go to Air Corps to have the calendar rebuilt. What y'all did with 2022 was make us have the ability to really jump the airplane forward. But in 2023, we have a whole new set of goals. Let's talk about it. So you saw me really excited earlier about 2023 and here are the reasons why. We're asking for donations to be able to complete the flaps and the ailerons, which I'll show you in a minute. You gotta kind of wait for that. But the reason why is, is because our team right now is, is hard at work, finishing up the wings, the ammo bays, the skins, you know, just really trying to close out the wings. You saw the progress they made before with the stringers in the wings, that's all done and knocked out. So we're really just trying to complete those wings. And instead of trying to pull people off the wings to work on the flaps and ailerons, we want to ship them up to Air Corps to have them work on them. So when they get back, they can be bolted on the wings and they're ready to go. Let me show you what we're talking about. So welcome back. This is the P-47 flap. It's the size of a Cessna 150 wing. I mean, just ginormous. Can you imagine being in combat or getting ready to land and hanging those barn doors out, just seeing the slowdown, the friction, the whatever it may be. I'm not a pilot, obviously, but look how big it is. This one is close. It, as you can see, a lot of the riveting's done. There is more work that needs to be done to it, but it's close. Now, follow me over here, Mo. This one still needs a little bit of work. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. This is one of the original flaps that came off in the airplane. And as you see, a lot of the ribs, they're in good shape. We have some of the, uh, what do you call them, spars, but the skins and all the work still need to be done. And really, they look from a far off distance like they're in good shape. But once you start getting kind of close to them, you can kind of see a lot of the dents and the dings and the and the just overall wear and tear after being in a, a fire. So this is one of the things we're asking for money for this year is what you're looking at right here. And shipping up to Air Corps not only saves us time, but they are one of their premier Warbird restorers in the world. And they already have all the jigs for this. Everything's already done. So they can turn it in a very quick amount of time at a great cost. So another reason I've been unbelievably excited about 2023 is we have a donor who has given us a matching grant. So what's a matching grant? For every $1 we earn, they're gonna give us another dollar up to $50,000. So I want to personally say thank you to the Ray Foundation and Chuck at the Ray Foundation for not only believing in the commemorative Air Force, Air Base Georgia, but this P-47. They are one of the one of the reasons we can move forward as quickly as we are right now. So every dollar that y'all donate in 2023 is matched up to $50,000. So here are the ailerons for the P-47. And when you look at it, one's actually in really good shape because it was all off the new old stock wing. And I'll start here because when you look at it, it's they're huge, massive ailerons. Can you imagine being a pilot or being in combat and playing and just going, whoosh, just yanking it one side and having this big barn door flip up and you just go twirling through the sky? How much fun that would be? I mean, I would like it. It'd be great. So follow me over here, Mo. Here's this one. And... As you start coming down, it, it doesn't look in too bad of shape until you start coming down here near the uh, end. And you can see the spars broken, a lot of the ribs are damaged, the skin's damaged. So this one has to be completely blown apart, completely put back together. And like we said before, we could do this here, it would just take us an exorbitant amount of time. Where if you ship it up there to Air Corps, those guys have the knowledge, the know-how, the expertise, those are all the same words and they could get it done much quicker than we can and then we can have our guys keep focusing on the wings and returning this this airplane this airplane right here to its former glory which is in the skies so to wrap up i just want to say thank you for putting up with me for the last year on the videos you've been doing 2023 is going to be an exciting year for us this project is going to make a great amount of headway we have we have the we have the knowledge we have the horsepower to get it done and 
All we need are your donations. And please remember, for every dollar you donate, it's matched by the Ray Foundation one-to-one -one, up to $50,000. So this is a huge opportunity for the CAF and our wing. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you about a week or so.